Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the prepend method for our linked list. Now what the prepend method does is take a newly created node and insert it to the front of the list. So much like our append method, the prepend method has two cases. If the list is empty and if the list is not empty. So let's take a look at the first case. So if the list is empty, which we have right here, so this gets initialized by our default constructor. Header gets set to null, tail gets set to null, and size is equal to zero. So the first step is to actually create the node that we want to prepend to our list. And the second step is to have the header and the tail both point to the newly inserted node. And that's because since there's only one node within our linked list, it is both the first node and the last node. So let's do that. And now that we prepended our newly created node, all we have to do is increment the size. So now let's take a look at what happens when the linked list is not empty. So from here, you can see that we have two nodes within our linked list. Our header is pointing to the first node, our tail is pointing to the last node, and we have size is equal to two. So the first step to prepend is to obviously create the new node. Now from here, you might be saying to yourself, can't I just take what header is pointing to because header is always pointing to the first node and I could just have header point to n. Well, let's actually take a look at that case. So I'm just gonna bring n here and we're gonna change the pointer and there we go. Header is pointing to n. So what's the problem with this? Well, when we set header to point to n, what we ended up doing is losing the pointer to the previous first node. So now what we ended up doing is breaking our linked list. So right now header is pointing to n as n is pointing to null. So we have no way of n to point to the previous first node. So how can we solve this problem? Well, one way of solving this problem is to actually create a temporary pointer. So let's do that right now. So this temporary pointer is gonna point to whatever the header is pointing to which is the first node within our linked list. Now I could come here, have the header point to n. And now from here, instead of n pointing to nothing, what we can do is remove that and have n point to temp. And you can see here from our diagram, it is a bit messy. So let's just clean it up just a little bit. So what we get is header is now pointing to our newly created node. So we successfully prepended n to the front of the list. Temp is pointing to the previously first node. So now we're just saying n point to temp and our link list is intact. And last but not least, all we have to do is update the counter. So now let's actually take a look at how we can implement this with code. All right, so from here, you can see that we have our prepend method. It doesn't return anything, so it's void. And you can see that we have a parameter of data. So let's actually follow the steps. Step one, create a new node. So that's pretty simplistic. I'm just gonna say node star n is equal to new node data. And this is gonna dynamically create our node for us. Next, we have to deal with two test cases. Case one is the empty list, and case two is the not empty list. So let's do case one. So we could handle this in two ways. We could test to see whether header is equal to null, because header is always pointing to the first node. And if it is null, that means there's nothing within our list. Or we could test the size to see if it's equal to zero. And if it's equal to zero, that means that there's no nodes within our list. So I'm just gonna say header is equal to null execute this code. So all we need to do here is just have our header point to n and our tail point to n. Since n is the only node within our list, that means header, which always points to the first node, is going to point to n and tail, which is always pointing to the last node, is going to point to n because n is literally the only node within our list. Now let's take a look at case two when the list is not empty. So the first step we need to do is save whatever header is pointing to. So I'm gonna create a temporary pointer that points to whatever header is pointing to. 
Next, we need to update header to point to n because we're prepending this node to our linked list and n is the new first node. So I'm just gonna say header is gonna be pointing to n because it's the new first node. And then n arrow next is gonna be pointing to the previous first node. And the previous first node is whatever temp is pointing to. And the last step, since we successfully prepended a node to our linked list is increment the size counter. And this pretty much wraps it up for our prepend method.